everyone! So I am here with a product review today and I am extremely excited about this review because I really, really love this product. This review is going to be on these new lippies here and these are the L'Oreal Color Riche Color Caress Lipsticks. I think that's what they're called. So there are 12 shades of lipsticks in this collection and I have four of them. The four that I picked up are on the more neutral or lighter shades with the darkest one being blushing sequin. The reason I picked up the lighter shades is because I don't wear dark shades that often and I really wanted to get more wear out of my lip products so I'm trying to be very careful with the products that I select. So I'll just go through the general overview of this product and then I'll get into the swatches of the shades that I picked up. So the lip product is essentially very similar to a lip butter but I prefer the texture much more. It is much smoother and silkier and a lot more lightweight than the lip butter. The packaging is really nice. It's basically a gold tube with the approximation of the color in a strip down below. These do come sealed when you pick them up at the drugstore so be sure to try to open them because a lot of them have been opened and swatched. When you open this product up you essentially get what looks like a regular lipstick and here is the product once it's been fully extended because this is kind of a balm texture you'll find that you do use it up rather quickly the full size of this is 2.9 grams the product has a very light scent I know the L'Oreal lipstick scent bothers a lot of people it doesn't bother me and this one I think is lighter than the typical lipstick scent that you may be used to so I find the scent is very agreeable. There is no flavor, which I like, and the wear power is what you would expect for this type of product, not very long at all, so you do have to reapply it multiple times throughout the day. I'd say this product is moderately moisturizing. It's not super moisturizing, but it doesn't dry out my lips either, so I would say it's okay as long as you keep reapplying it or you apply a lip balm if you don't want to add more pigmentation to your lips. The coverage, as you'll see, is pretty light. It's a very lightweight, glossy type lip product, relatively sheer, although the darker shades may have better pigmentation or more coverage. So now that I'm done talking a little bit about the product in general, I'm going to get into the swatches and I'm going to do hand swatches and I'm also going to do lip swatches. I'm going to swatch them from lightest to darkest and the first one I'm going to swatch is called Sheer Linen and this is number 181. This is a really beautiful nude color and I find it very very flattering. Here's the swatch on the back of my hand. As you can see it is pretty glossy and it's got a really nice neutral color to it without leaning too brown or too pink. I currently have no product on my lips so I'm going to go ahead and apply this shade to my lips. So here is Sheer Linen once it's been applied. I really really like this nude shade. I think it's very flattering. It doesn't give me a dead look. I love it with a smoky eye and I also love it to go to work. So I do mix this with a little bit of pink just to brighten it up a tiny bit for work because I wear very little eye makeup to work. But with a dark smoky eye, this lip color would be close to perfect. Next up is a really, really pretty pink shade and this one is called Pink Cashmere and it's basically like a baby bubblegum pink type shade but I think it's warm enough to look very nice on most skin tones. Here is the swatch on the back of my hand, similar to the other swatch. This one is very glossy as well. It's a baby pink without being too, too light. I've taken off all of the previous lip product so I'm going to go ahead and apply this shade to my lips. Here is Pink Cashmere once it's been applied to my lips. This is very similar to the Revlon Lip Butter in Strawberry Shortcake, except this one has, I think, a nicer texture. It's a lot more buttery and smoother and easier to apply, whereas the Lip Butter is almost like a harder consistency in comparison. The next shade I'm going to show you is probably my favorite out of the four that I picked up 
and this one is called Sunset Angora. This is like a pinkish coral color. It doesn't lean too pink or too orange, so it's essentially like the perfect coral shade, I think. So here is the swatch on the back of my hand, and if you look at the shade compared with Pink Cashmere, you'll see that it's a lot warmer, and Pink Cashmere looks a lot more cool toned in comparison, and Pink Cashmere is also a lot pinker, whereas this one is a very, very pretty coral color. So here is Sunset Angora once it's been applied. This is probably going to be one of my go-to shades in the spring and summertime. I can see myself wearing this shade a lot. And I like that I can wear this to work without looking too done up. The last shade I have to show you is actually the first shade that I picked up. And this is actually the only shade I picked up when I was in the US. The other three shades I picked up here in Canada at Shoppers Drug Mart when they had the $6.99 sale. So this was the shade I was initially drawn to and I still really like it. And this one is called Blushing Sequin. I think it's just gorgeous. So let me just swatch it and show you what it looks like. So here is the swatch on the back of my hand. It's almost like a... I want to say like a corally raspberry color. I don't know if that makes any sense. So let me put it on and show you what it looks like. It is the darkest shade that I have, but still very wearable, I think. It's very daytime appropriate. So these lighter shades, I don't feel really have a staining quality to them, although this one might stain a little bit. The darker shades may have more pigmentation and more of a staining effect. But I haven't tried those, and I don't plan to pick up any more because I'm happy with the ones that I have. And like I said, I'm trying to be more selective with the lip products that I buy because I have so many to use up and I find I just don't use darker shades as much. So that is basically it for my review of the L'Oreal Color Riche Color Caress lip products. Please let me know in the comment section down below whether you've tried these lip products before and if so, what you think of them. I would love to hear your thoughts and if you have any questions, please leave them for me down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and until I see you again, please take care and bye for now.